One of the questions that we get asked the most is why we have a minimum. And the biggest thing that you need to understand why we have a minimum is the amount of steps it takes to process every single order. First step is taking an order. Uh, chances are you s requested a quote online. So that means that we have to go source product, check the pricing to make sure the manufacturers haven't changed pricing recently and get you an accurate quote, which does take time. But once we have that, we put the order in the system. We work on mock-ups. We'll send the quote over for you to approve. Uh, and then we request payment. Once payment's received, then we start doing separations. One of the biggest things why we source product, uh, we only use specific vendors because we know that they're gonna stand behind their products. Uh, I'm typically on top of what's in stock, what's out of stock. We wanna make sure that you get your product the way you want it on time. Once we order the product in for your order, when we get it in, we have to go through, we have to check it in in our shipping and receiving department. So they go through the box, make sure that we got whatever your order is. So for example, six mediums, six larges, six extra larges, we have to go through that box to make sure all the products there. Once your artwork is approved, we do start our separations, which means that we're gonna pull out every single color for every different screen on the press. So for example, if there's white and red in your logo, we're gonna have an underlay that covers everything, a red screen and a white screen that's gonna go over the top of the white. Once we have your art separated, we now have the art file for every individual screen that we need to burn. Uh, we do run a CTS, which means computer to screen, so we do print directly on the screen. It's then exposed to UV light, it's washed out, uh, then set on a rack to dry. Once we have all of that, the screens are officially burned and they need to be taped off. Most designs nowadays do have multiple colors in it and specific Pantones. We do mix different colors for different Pantones where we typically do not use bucket colors. We like to mix everything so everything matches your design perfectly. Because we use a computer to screen, we do also have what's called a tri-lock, which is a special palette that helps us line up every screen, but adjustments do have to be made, which means once they load the screen, the squeegees, the ink, there's a test print done, the next screen has to be registered and lined up perfectly to that screen, and then every other color in your design has to be lined up perfectly as well. Once they do have the screens loaded, they do put squeegees, blood bars, and ink into every screen. And they do it in a specific order, which is our print order, depending on what color we're printing first, second, third, last, uh, those kind of things. It's a pretty specific process. We always run a test print and we run them on test shirts. We're not one of those companies that registers a job on your product and gives it to you. Uh, we make sure that Every color is registered on a test shirt. Uh, there's a couple of people that sign off on it and then they run it on your actual product. Once we have everything and the test prints good, everybody signed off on it, running the job, you know, they do load one shirt at a time and it's going around the press. We also have an unloader. So somebody's loading it on the press, somebody's taking it off the press, setting it on the dryer, goes through the dryer, it's then stacked again. How we maintain quality throughout big runs is that's part of the reason we do have an unloader is there's somebody that's looking at every shirt before they're putting it on the dryer. So they can catch issues before the person that's catching them at the end of the dryer catches them. That way, you know, we only mess up one shirt instead of 25. Once they make it through the dryer, there's a person at the end of there that's doing final QC quality control. They're stacking, they're counting, folding, putting in boxes, uh, and then we label your boxes with how many of each size are in. Once they're all counted, boxed out, we do have a system called Printavo that um, the people change the status saying that the job is complete. And then it'll send an automation saying that your order's ready for pickup, or if you're having it us ship your order, it will be shipped out. So in summary, the reason we have minimums is there's a lot of steps involved. Order intake, artwork, separations, burning your screen, registering on press, setting up the press, running your job, folding, packaging, and then notifying you that it's ready. Uh, for more information, you can reach out to us on social media, JC Pro Design on Facebook or Instagram. You can also reach us, jcprodesign.com, uh, phone number 801-557-5066.